Hey guys! In today's video, I will show you how to build an easy monthly calendar that can help you to track your important days in Google Sheet. You can also choose between Monday or Sunday as the starting day of the week. First, I will show you how to set up the layout and make the automated calendar. Then we link the task list so that your tasks appear on the correct day. Finally, I'll show you how to customize it to make it look nicer. Now let's get started. First, we need today's day. I'll use the today formula. Then month, year, and the calendar starting day. Insert a wrap down for the month. Make sure you don't leave any space behind the month's name. Then select the outer display style. Now adding the wrap down for the calendar starting day of the week. If you want to download the template, the link is in the description below. Let's group the selected month and year together. Then we need to convert the starting day to a number. By default, Sunday is 1 and Monday is 2, so we can use the if function. Now we want the selected starting day to show on the calendar. This formula will convert number back to text. And for the next day, we just need to add an extra one into the current day formula. Then drag the first cell formula to apply for the row. Test it. Let's move on to the day formula. We want to find the day of the week in G5 to match the same day of the week in our calendar. Then we will have the first day of the month, which is 1, other way, empty. Let's add dollar sign to G5. And for the second day, we will need to add an extra condition as if G7 is a number. Then adding 1 into that number otherwise is return nothing now just drag the second cell formula and for the first day of the second week we need to check whether g5 plus m7 is greater than 1 this means it's not the first day of the month, then the day will be G5 plus M7. Now adding the dollar sign into G5. And for the second day of the second week, we just need to change M7 into G14, which is the day before it. Then drag the second day formula to the rest of the week. And the same formula for the first day of the third week, change it to M14. And second day of the third week, change it to G21. Rack the second day formula to the rest of the week. Now follow the similar step for week 4 and 5. You can pause the video if you need more time. Remember the consistent formula only works after you added the second day of that week. Let's move on to the task list. You can add a data validation into our day column. Make sure you select is valid day. 
Now I will show you how to convert the selected month to a number. This will help us with later on formulas. I just use the match function and enter all the month's names. Let's check again if everything worked. Now we can move on to do the task. We want task to show up on our calendar. We can use the filter function to filter our task in our task list with the condition of matching day equal to G7 and month. Make sure to select the month number that we created earlier and year equal to C20. And if no match, is returned empty. Let's use the array constraint to apply the formula for the rest of the column. I will add the final formula on the screen so you can follow up easier. Adding dollar sign into the range. For the range, it's up to you to make it longer or shorter. I select up to row 70 but you can change it. Now just drag the formula to the rest of the week. Now you just need to copy and paste the formula and change the days. Following the same step for the rest of the calendar. Let's check if it's work. Now we can customize our sheet. I will add color code in the description.
Now let's add sticker to our sheet. Select insert image of the cells. You can make your own sticker on Canva for free. If you have any questions, please leave the comment below. See you in the next video.